Hello? I don't think this is a miner's uh, cabin. Hello? Ah, that's a little scary. Uh, you'll die. Very steep uh, train here. Uh, that's the creek below. So we definitely have to be careful. Um, surprisingly, for spring, it's very dry up here, uh, which makes the moss a little bit looser on the rock. So before anybody gives us a hard time for wearing shorts, it's super hot out, and you try hiking in the mountain wearing jeans and stuff like that. Uh, so now that we got this out of the way, so we're down here at the portals. Uh, there's one right across the creek, which we'll go check out uh, next, or sorry, we'll, we'll check out after, but then there's a portal right here, which is kind of neat. You know, maybe at one point in time, did they you know, have tracks connecting it? So uh, let's get on down and uh, check it out. Oh, it goes up and out. There's a stoked out area in here and it goes up. Okay. So we got a little bit of water. You can feel wind as soon as you come in here. Inside the portal already, a little bit of a stoked out section here. A lot of collapse. Um, just kind of show you guys here. Does it just go right through? It, it looks pretty collapsed, but I think there's a portal up higher. So no, no, come through. So that's the uh, entrance of the portal. Uh, not so sure if that it kept going through, but uh, lots of collapse, but there's a little bit of a stoked area here. You can see uh, stall, some other ones, but we're gonna go up and or, or go back and go up the other way. rock like that whole chunk here looks like I could just pull that down talking a little quiet does it keep going so well, it keeps going Brittany. Some really nice coloring in here oh it goes down so this is where we were looking up before that rock right there looks like it just came right from that section there. But uh, it might end here. We can go down here um, afterwards maybe. Some beautiful coloring and stuff on the rock here. And that to me kind of looks like the ore that they were 
for moving. So we'll continue on. Just be careful. There's quite the ledge there, so we should be okay. I think this is pinches out here, Cheyenne. As far as it goes. So. It almost looks like you go down there. Yeah. So I'll go check it out and I'll call you there. Yeah, it just pinches out down here. I'll just go to the end just to just double check. And pretty tall ceiling, very echoey. That's the ore right there. But this uh, just again pinches off. Very cool. But yeah, that's it. Awesome neat uh, mineralization here. Hanging from the ceiling. Maybe somebody was coming in here and doing some prospecting there. Little dugout spot. But some neat colors. So let's uh, turn around and uh, get back to Cheyenne. Alrighty guys, well, we're gonna head back out to the uh, main entrance and get across the creek here and go check out that other attic. So we're a little bit worried because the water is flowing really, really fast. And um, down there is a pretty significant waterfall. So if this log breaks, I, I'm using this to hold myself to get across. Um, we thought about just walking back down and around, but it's so steep on the other side that that would be just as dangerous. Deep it is over in this next hole here. All right, made it. Okay, so this is definitely small, guys, right off the bat. It could just pinch out right there. Well, the heater already soaked, so. Lots of mosquitoes. Yeah, it either goes down. Sorry for the wobbly flashlight, guys. Lots of bugs. For how much debris in here, when the river probably, the creek gets up high, it probably runs into here. So this is it. That's it. But mosquitoes are horrible. Again, someone's like digging out a little pocket there. Too bad. Small, maybe about 
four feet high. So we're just heading up uh, the mountain, just, oh, big cob, oh, big spider web. Um, heading up the mountain, uh, just seeing what else is up here. We passed a sign that said uh, that there's an active mine site, and there is. I don't know if it's still operating, but it was a few years ago. So, unfortunately, BC has put uh, traveling restrictions on our province and we're only allowed to stay in our health region so that basically limits us uh, quite a bit um, right now but all things considering uh, for being confined to such a small space we are really lucky because um, there's still quite a few mines that we can get to it's just unfortunately right now there's still so much snow we went up about 10 minutes up the road from here looking for, um, well, to explore another area. Um, and 10 minutes up the road, uh, there's easily 10 feet of snow. Uh, we would have never been able, and that was at the lower levels. So we are definitely getting a lot higher. And it's crazy how you can be 10 minutes one way and it's a beautiful summer's day and if we would have found the road that we were looking for, this would have been a whole different looking uh, video. Would have been hiking in the snow and yeah, who knows what we would have found. But uh, trails are pretty quiet here. Um, or sorry, a lot of uh, cobwebs across the trail. But uh, we'll touch base with you guys again if we see anything uh, further up the mountain. So we've been hiking for about 20 minutes. Um, just seeing if there's anything higher above. Uh, and definitely quite the waterfall area. Like it's steep here. Not seeing any more signs of an adit. There is a tram line that's up higher. And I believe still like another portal or two. Um, but that's a long hike and we didn't really come prepared to go there or all that way. Um, we didn't actually have planned to come to this area in general today. Uh, so mentally we were ready for the other area and hiking up, uh, the forest service road and the mountain's definitely not as high over there. So, uh. Oh, I don't even know where Cheyenne is. Oh, there she so is. So we're down here at uh, the lower attic because we wanted to explore lower than where the truck was. And up here, we could see something. And I'm not so sure if this is, sorry, I'm out of breath. Just climbed up this hill. Um, not so sure if this is a core shed or what it is. Um, like a, a little cabin. Yeah, you can see the trail that went to the cabin. Um, kind of thought this was maybe like an ore shack or something, but I'm not seeing any samples. Cheyenne pointed it out because it looked like from down there, this was maybe the entrance um, to another attic, but there's nothing here. So just this weird random building. So, uh, we're probably going to walk this way, go back down to the ca uh, cabin, or like uh, the bunkhouse, sorry. And uh, we'll show you guys uh, when yeah, we get down like there. What looked to be a trail is kind of gone. Okay. Um, so yeah, 
pretty neat. Like, there are some pretty, like, almost looks like you can see where they blew open, uh, like, blew on top for a ledge. But, uh, yeah, this is the bunkhouse, guys. We explored this a lot more than our other video. But, uh, this is the lower portal, so. Continue on with our adventure. Cheyenne just saw a building, so she's heading down there. Uh, get back to uh, some of the, their junk pile. A little stubby there. Not so sure, this is like a perfume. Still has, oh, it's probably like a makeup or something. See the stick in there. Some more bottles, cans. So, we wanted to check out this area because we could see water line going down and we didn't think that there was a, another portal but it would make sense that there is a cabin oh look at this this is a bsa or whatever or ba sorry oh, that's neat that is really cool quite a few little uh, scraps around here i am coming just this is uh this is their garbage pile. A lot of uh, little beer stubbies and stuff. There was a nice uh, BA uh, bottle. No markings or anything, so it's hard to tell if they're old or what. But uh, I just see one over here. I think this is just a normal mason jar or something. Oh, bigger one. Got a cork in it. So when I was checking out the uh, garbage pile. Uh, Cheyenne is the one that found this uh, little cabin over here. We could see water line uh, going down from the main portal. So we thought something was here. We just weren't so sure what. But uh, we're coming down to the river here. So, yeah. Yeah. Wow, wow, wow. Holy crap. Hello? Wow. <laughs> I don't think this is a miner's uh, cabin. Hello? Wow. Oh, it, it's completely collapsed inside. It's too bad. Wow. There's so much here. Cheyenne, there's more over here. Like, like open. But look at all the cabins over here. Across the creek there. Everywhere. See them all? Yeah. Yeah, they just like again packed up and left. Wow. That's a, that's a toilet. <laughs> but uh, I'm just going to... I'm just going to walk around just real quick just to get the outside and then we'll head on inside. So from the front door you would think that this is completely... Oh look at that. Wow. Holy, this is beautiful. Holy cow, my God. This is gorgeous. <laughs> What a shame. Oh my gosh, the yeah. Yeah. Oh wow. Beautiful. This is probably just gorgeous at one point in time. You know, again, like this, I know this mine isn't old, so maybe. So that's a nice edit. Look at this, looks uh... <laughs> It's got a handle. It's all wood. 
It's heavy. Uh huh. This is just gorgeous. We cannot believe we couldn't see this last time. So I just want to just double check. There's nothing on this side that we didn't miss. Oh, there's a little garden over here. Maybe on like a plaque. Yeah. Oh. Oh, wow. In memory of Mom Nana, Isabel Wood, May 12, 1895 to July 19, 1975, found peace at the Silver Daisy. May, Heather, David, and Russell. Yeah, I don't doubt that they found peace here. Gorgeous. But, uh, yeah, so clear. So clear. Upstairs. Look at all the jackets, and I'm just gonna get my flashlight out. All the clothes, bedroom back here. Oh, ah, that's a little scary. Uh, you'll. It's okay. it's okay. Just flashlight. Um, there's a sign here that says you'll die. That's nice. guys it's kind of lost for words oh yeah wow. you see like the little island there too like kind of like you know well, look at that table yeah. like, oh this is kind of neat this is an old uh, tobacco tin sorry guys I'm afraid I'm gonna like see like a bear or what's stuck up here. For some odd reason this is like scarier than going into a mine. trail here it's really neat because again that was like an outside stove um, now this cabin looks a little bit older so we're across the creek now this this is a this is a beautiful little miners cabin Wow it's um probably the other one had a basement too, eh? Or like a little crawl space. 
Yeah, a little outside fire pit. Kind of do the outside scam. Oh, I think there's the porta potty over here. But uh, beautiful little fireplace. This definitely, like this is a perfect example of when, you know, the people that lived here that worked, you know, these mines, you know, they had probably such high hopes. But uh, this, you know, things went south and just packed up and left. It's sad, you can almost kind of feel a loneliness around here. It's sad. Wow, wow, wow. This is what's just so cool, guys, is just, you know, we could have just said, you know what, let's just head home and try to do something else, but, you know, we took that chance and went off the beaten path a little bit, and I'm so glad we did. Um, last time we were here, we probably couldn't see it because it would be so overgrown. Um, beautiful cabins, and we're super glad that we could share this with you guys, and uh, we hope that you uh, enjoyed coming along on this adventure. But uh, until next time, guys, I think that's going to be it for today. So uh, take care, and we'll see you in the next video.